Hello everyone, uh, my name is Peter Wolfe and thank you for joining me today here on the Wolfe College of Coffee. Uh, today we're wanting to talk about a specific varietal of coffee which is you know, affectionately called SL, um, and namely SL sort of 28 and SL 34, uh, and these are Scott's Laboratory coffees. Uh, so I guess to go back into history, um, how did we even come up with the name a sort of Scott's Lab or Scott's Laboratory? And it's a really interesting kind of story because uh, it was initially sort of, the, um, the laboratories were initially sort of set up um, by the colonial government in Kenya of the day in the, in the 1920s. Uh, with a view to sort of doing some research, not only just in coffee, but other agricultural products, and finding what is the best producing varietals in terms of not only flavour, yield, uh, uh, pest and disease management, um, that would be something that then they could distribute widely to uh, the farmers of the day uh, to obviously plant uh, and produce a product. Um, for, for that particular area. It was not until basically they moved their offices uh, in the 1930s where there was an old um, World War I hospital um, and it was named after uh, Dr Scott. And Dr Scott was a, a missionary from Scotland um, and so when they moved into this old World War I sort of uh, hospital, uh, it got the sort of, I suppose it picked up the name Scott's Lab and that's really uh, how, you know, we got the name of it. There were 42 um, varietals initially, uh, initially uh, trialled uh, and examined, I guess, through, uh, through, the, through time and the first one that really was identified was the SL28. And SL28, I suppose, is fairly ubiquitous in terms of what we would you know, really deem as the, as the Kenyan flavour. It really has a very distinctive winey sort of flavour, um, lots of beautiful sort of uh, citrus qualities, berries, uh, lots of clarity. But the most important thing about this particular tree is that um, you know, it, it has a high yield um, from planting, uh, from, from seed to sort of first year, we can, we can see a commercial, our first commercial plantation within three years, which is really, uh, which is really quite, uh, quite good. Um, but also it has a very strong, uh, very strong um, uh, disease and pest management and very drought resistant. Uh, that was, you know, really good. And so it was, it was distributed to, the, to the, 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 the missionaries of the day or the settlers of the day who were interested in growing coffee, uh, and that's how sort of SL28 come. Uh, the SL28 um, is predominantly um, uh, from a, genetically from a Bourbon, and, and a lot of the story sort of uh, goes is that a lot of the original sort of seedlings uh, that came into uh, Kenya were from the, the Reunion Islands, um, and these were the coffees that were brought across by the French and Dutch missionaries. Um, and so a lot of people initially had thought that, um, you know, this is where we kind of got that terminology wrapped around sort of French Mission Bourbon. Uh, so this is uh, definitely a coffee that um, has that sort of uh, genetic uh, makeup of, of being from, from the Bourbon family. Fast forward a little bit. Um, we do know obviously with the SL28, um, it has, um, it has a, a, I suppose, a term that is called rustica. Um, and so this is a quality that basically means that it's a very hardy sort of varietal of coffee, which means that you can leave it for one year, 10 years, 20 years even, unattended. You can pretty well much go back to this particular particular variety and start, you know, uh, start producing coffee from it again. So there are, you know, instances in Kenya at the moment where we have um, varietals of coffee that are, you know, these types of trees that are 60, 80 years of age. You know, today's SL34 is certainly another, another varietal that is, and it really is kind of the, um, the progeny of, of SL28. Um, interesting enough, you know, we, we've, um, with some of the recent sort of genetic testing it seems to be, well it's, it's actually it has indicated, not seems to be, has indicated that it's not 
its lineage is not from the French Mission Bourbon, but is more from a Typica, which is really quite, uh, quite amazing. Um, but this uh, particular tree, you know, it stands very tall when you look at it, um, has um, very, uh, very good yield to it, a uh, high degree of clarity, um, and uh, uh, is a little bit more prone to some of the pest and rust diseases, but has a really interesting bronzy, tippy sort of leaf to the end of it. Um, which sort of makes you sort of identify what the SL sort of 34 is. Um, so, you know, for us, you know, we work with our producer in Kenya, which is Boyce Harry's, um, and we're very fortunate that he has two particular properties. Uh, the first being Charnia Estate, which is where we get all of our French Mission Bourbon from. But we also have a, a, another property, which is um, the uh, Oriti farm and this is where we're basically getting our SL selection from which is a combination of both 28 and 34. So that's a little bit of ex explanation around what SL or Scots Lab stands for. There is plenty of reading available around it um, but that's just a really sort of small sort of um, I guess snapshot of what SL means, a little bit of the history to sort of the name and you know how they sort of got to the 28 and 34 being the numbers, being that of the 42 varietals that were chosen for trial, it was number 28 and number 34 uh, that were uh, the winners. My name is Peter Wolf. thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope all is well in the world wherever you are and uh, please continue to share our, uh, our good work uh, we certainly enjoy sharing our knowledge. Please hit the subscribe button and again, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this week's Wolf College of Coffee vlog. If you'd like to watch another video, you can click one of them here. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you can always see the next video when it comes out next week. If you'd like to leave a comment or like below, we'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, grab a cup of coffee and come back soon. I can wait.